நெக்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் இட் கல்ச்சர் மீடியம் இன் ஆல்கி ஸோ வை இட் இஸ் ரிகோர் ஃபார் கல்ச்சர் மீடியம் ஆல்கி இட் கேன் க்ரோ நேச்சுரலி ஈதர் ஃப்ரெஷ் வாட்டர் மெரின் வாட்டர் ஆர் இந்த ஸ்டாக்னிங் வாட்டர் தே கேன் க்ரோ வை இட் இஸ் ரிக்வர் திஸ் கல்ச்சர் மீடியம் ஸோ த கல்ச்சர் மீடியம் விச் இஸ் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் இன் ஓகே டு ஐடென்டிஃபை திஸ் the structure and the morphological structure and anatomical structures and this the reproduction we can see it in the laboratory condition for that we need culture medias this nutrients can exist in three types one is solid medium a liquid medium another one is semi solid medium which is also called as growth medium so either this phase can be used to support the growth of microalgae cells but each type of media are used to for different growing purpose so species to species the kinds of media preparation is also vary okay the normally there are two types of growth media which is used in the cell culture of algae one is salt broth one another one is agar plate one the salt broth one it is a liquid medium agar plate medium which is a solid medium which can uh, solidified by the process of agar agar which is also called as grab we prefer from this grassl area and lamin area next when you want to grow uh, algae they require temperature we need to maintain optimum temperature 18 to 24 and base salinity 1 uh, 1 gram per liter so okay so you have to maintain 20 to 24 um, percent gram per next light intensity which is required so they require 2000 uh, lux to 5000 lux which is required for this algal growth and photoprior based on the slight and dark hours so it is required 16 hours light or 8 hours dark or else it is 24 hours light required for some plants especially chlorella <coughs> the ph which can be maintained 8.2 to 8.7 so this temperature we have to maintain salinity we have to maintain light, light intensity so photoprior and ph so next that algae it lives in various form they live in aquatic and unusual form and terrestrial form just discovered about in uh, earlier uh, video programs so now we are going to consider how we are going to grow it in this medium types so when the preparation of culture uh, culture mediums so we need to uh, isolate on this uh, sterilize this uh, culture vessels which we used so vital steps it is involving this algal culture preparation first thing is wash with detergents whatever material either conical flask or petri plate <coughs> test tube pipette whatever things we are going to utilize in the preparation of culture medium we need to wash with detergents after wash with detergents it we can rinse with hot water or or uh, distilled water after uh, rinse with hot water we can again clean with the 30% of muriatic acid then rinse it with again with hot water dry before use it and keep it in the oven or as an autoclave for the sterilization purpose right so next we move to this how we are going to culture this uh, algae so we have a two methods one is indoor mass culture so alkal culture technique based on the place they can divide into two category either indoor culture or outdoor culture based on the container which is we are going to use whether it is in the form of open or in the form of closed sterility so based on the sterility they are oxenic zenic and batch culture finally so based on the production that is method is also divided into three category batch production continuous production semi continuous production so alkal culture based on the place based on the container based on the sterility based on the production they are very so if it is place they are uh, uh, two types indoor culture and outdoor culture 
its container it's either open or closed sterility oxynic or genic form much and its production which is also called batch culture continuous culture semi continuous cultures so so what does the advantage and disadvantage of much indoor culture it is a high degree of control and this disadvantage is it's expensive one outdoor it is very cheaper but we have a little control less predictable one continuous culture it is efficient and provide a consistent supply to the high quality of atomaceous and here continuous culture is very difficult not only it's possible to culture small quantities it's a complex equipment semi continuous is an easier somewhat different and as semi continuous it is disadvantages is sporadic quality less reliable batch culture which is easier and most reliable one a disadvantage is it's less least efficient and quality may be inconsistent okay what are the composition of this medium so commonly we used benek medium benek broth medium so it's a potassium nitrate 0.2 gram magnesium sulfate 0.2 gram potassium hydrogen phosphate 0.02 gram calcium carbonate 1.1 uh, 1.1 gram ferric chloride it is two drops you have to add it and main ph 6.5 we can addition with 100 1000 ml you have to make it so this is a benek medium magnesium sulfate potassium hydrogen phosphate calcium chloride ferric chloride and ph we have to maintain this benek uh, broth medium so next uh, medium is chu medium chu medium which is uh, composition uh, potassium hydrogen phosphate calcium nitrate can sodium carbonate magnesium sulfate sodium silicate citric acid and uh, four to five trace element and ph and this we have to maintain just water 1000 ml <coughs> so we have several medium which is involved it's a bold basal mediums chemically defined is a good medium for uh, green algae so and st11 medium which is involved this more than a pbm mediums and the one is ty three meter so which are the common medium which is used to the prepare some culture medium of algae so this is another bold basal medium so it's a sodium nitrate magnesium sulfate and nacl uh, potassium hydrogen phosphate potassium hydrogen phosphate and calcium chloride trace element of this element zinc molybdenum manganese copper and this uh, h3po3 eda ivoh and this which is required for bold basal medium so indoor culture it does allow the culture it does uh, controversial illumination temperature and competing algae in the outdoor uh, algal systems in open so open it is always the pond or tank which is closed and open means they are open for this growing algae so enrichments soil which is sometimes used that <coughs> two medium again calcium nitrate magnesium sulfate uh, dipotassium phosphate sodium carbonate sodium silicate and iron chloride so there is a calcium nitrate it's a served as a inorganic nitrogen which is a source of other inorganic salt supply this necessary growth and requirements so procedure which can be you know, 1 gram of soil sample dissolved into 10 ml of basal media so required media for isolation and prepare an autoclave it after 1 ml of stock solution we get sterilely uh, diluted and successive tubes of 9 ml distal uh, sterile water each so 1 ml aliquot uh, each dilution transfer into this labeled flask so the flask kept it in incubator uh, source of bright 20 to 30 hours so once it's incubations they are identified into microscopes so oxenic culture or sterile culture oxenic culture is a foreign organism such as bacteria strict sterilization of glass vessels and vessels avoid contamination the late later makes impractical for commercial product operations so the batch culture it is a mother plant culture we can store from mother plants we are convert into conical flask from this conical flask we can convert into three other persons it is also it is convert into garbage and plastic bags so they can uh, cultivate in the bioreactor one so macro culture uh, process so the, the
the culture of like this macroalgae this laminaria furifera class gracilaria alba so contrasts like the, this algae macroalgae when you want to cultivate this it is involved four process one is collection of this particular algae after collected we can isolate this components after isolation we can culture its components after culturing we must harvesting in this particular algae so so thank you thank you so much for watching this video we'll meet next video thank you